Okay. Uh, which of the following genetic mutations is most likely responsible for this patient's condition? FMR1, MECP2, SMN1, USH2A, or Shank3? A three-year-old girl is brought to the pediatrician by her mother, who reports that her daughter was developing normally until recently when she began to experience regression in her motor and speech skills. Um, she, The child also exhibits repetitive hand movements such as hand wringing and has difficulty walking. Her growth parameters are, are below average, and she has no family history of neurological disorders. Which of the following genetic mutations is the most likely responsible for this patient's condition? Um, this is what I would know uh, is Rett syndrome, is when you have developmental issues in a young girl. Um, and one of the main uh, symptoms that you would see is something called hand wringing. Um, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. this is a Rett syndrome, and that is going to be MECPT, MECP2 gene. I'm going to say that's super impressive. I knew it was Rhett, but I do not remember the gene. That's for dang <laughs> sure. So. A random factor that I had in my brain. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. That's good, right? Um, Like I said, I think, you know, you're just slowly adding these things on, right? And I think that's key that you're working through it, figuring out your diagnosis first and not working backwards. I think that's one of the key things of doing questions um, on step one, step two, and step three is that you really, really got to figure out diagnosis first. Um, and you're doing a great job of that. So just keep up the good work there. Thank you. Thank you.